What's up guys, Tyler Casey here, and today I'm gonna be talking about this new gimbal I got, the Weeble S, and why it's one of my favorite gimbals for shooting music videos. Jwin actually sent me their new Weeble S, and this thing is crazy. Before I start talking about the gimbal, I'd appreciate it if you guys could drop a like right down below so other people can find this video and it'll help grow my channel. Nice thing about this gimbal, is how it fits easily into the backpack. About to film like a little run and gun music video trying to get it before the sun sets. I screw the bottom half on. Everything's nice and locked. The first thing I love about this gimbal is the size. It's light and it's small. This gimbal does not come with a case like their other gimbals, but you really don't need one because it can fit easily in pretty much any backpack. It's got the quick release plate that it comes with. Get that a little more straight. We just easily put that on just like that. Let's loosen it. And it should be on just like that. One thing I really like is that they included a quick release plate with this. You can easily just plop it off. You can tighten it on your camera. Remember the number where you tighten it, pop it back on, and then you can easily take your camera on and off for quick handheld shots or even tripod shots as well. One of my favorite features on this gimbal is actually the locking methods. My Crane 2 actually got banged up. The gimbal motor would bang up against itself like walking location to location. It was fine, it was a tough gimbal, but this is definitely nice, the fact that it locks. This is also nice for balancing because you can lock one access, balance it, and then lock that one and unlock. It's super nice and well thought out. As far as weight that it can hold, I don't think they specifically say how much weight it can hold, but you can easily YouTube and see if it works with your lens combo. One of the main ones that they've been posting about, they say it can take the a7 III with a 24 to 70 G Master, so that's a pretty big lens setup. So if you have that lens or if you have anything similar to that, I was able to balance my GH5S with the Metabones and the Sigma 18 to 35, which is a pretty heavy setup. One of my favorite things that I wasn't sure if I was gonna like is when you put it into underslung mode. Underslung mode, so I could just go from that to here, just like that. You hold it with two hands and you operate it like that. This is where I found you get some of the most steady footage and it's nice being able to switch down into a lower mode. So switching over to POV mode right now, just like that. And I got the flip out screen on the GH5S, so I'll actually be able to see what I'm filming. I'm gonna go all the way to 12 millimeters. One of my favorite modes to use on this was the POV mode. And the cool thing about this is wherever you turn the gimbal, it kind of flows with, you almost get like a floaty, steady cam, handheld type look with it. And I love using this on the music video performance. I actually flipped my camera all the way upside down so I could get a low angle shot and then looking up at the subject and I was kind of dutching the angle left and right. This was nice for a super unique look. Compared to the vortex mode I'm gonna talk about that you kind of see overplayed, this is a nice change of that and it has a nice look to it. I definitely wanna use this mode more in the future. Vortex mode though is insane. I had this really cool location in a tunnel, so I had to use vortex mode in it. It spins super smooth and I got nice 360 shots. There's not too much to say about vortex mode. It does the spinny thing that everyone wants, but definitely don't overlook POV mode. One thing I really like about balancing this gimbal is you can actually auto tune right on the camera. So this basically just adjusts to the setup that you have. So the gimbal knows how hard to make the motors work. The battery life on this thing is insane. I think it's somewhere around 12 hours. It depends on how heavy of a setup you're using and how well balanced you have. The better you have your gimbal balance, the better it's going to run and the battery life you're going to get. If you wanna pan and tilt, you do have to hold the trigger down on the back, which is kind of annoying. I know they're dropping updates for this gimbal and you can also access it in the app. This is definitely my most favorite gimbal. Let me know what gimbal you guys use and if you plan on picking up the Weeble S or not. I really enjoy it. I'm gonna to respond to every comment, so make sure to do that. If you guys wanna pick up the Weeble S, 
click the link right down there below. I have an Amazon link. I also have a link to their website so you guys can read more about the gimbal as well. There's tons of features. I think they did a great things with this gimbal and I definitely think they improved on all their other gimbals. I still love the Crane 2. It's a really solid gimbal and it has a lot of power, but the fact that this can easily fit in my camera bag beats everything else. I hate having extra cases, especially on music videos when it's run and gun and, or you already have to bring tons of other stuff. This is just nice to plop on there. I wouldn't be promoting this gimbal if I didn't think it was great. They did send it to me for free, but I definitely love their products. So make sure to check them out, show them some love. I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you guys found this useful. I'll catch you guys next time, thanks.